Hi guys, I'm Melissa with Teaspoon Soapery and this is my daughter Bethany and we're here to talk about our March Awareness Soap we're going to make. Yeah, each month we do an awareness soap to bring awareness to a chronic illness um, and this month is endometriosis. <laughs> Beth does not have this one. Thankfully. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have friends though that have endometriosis and um, endometriosis is an extremely painful disorder where um, the tissue um, so the normal tissues that grow uh, inside your uh, uterus, um, that tissue grows outside of the uterus um, and it causes a lot of pain, scarring, um, like fibrous tissue. Um, and so the tissue acts like normal uh, uterine tissue. So it sheds, it grows thick, sheds, and then bleeds. But because it's outside of the uterus, it has nowhere to bleed. Too, so um, it causes a lot of pain and issues um, and uh, you know it uh, it uh, also can cause fertility issues for people um, you know pain during sex pain during periods just pain in general um, but thankfully um, it can be treated you know not cured but uh, there's a lot of treatments for it which is great um, I think though some people have said that I've known that it's really hard to get their doctor to understand how painful it is. Yes, yeah. So um, it's one of those, oh come on, this is really, really bad. How bad can it really be? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, you know, people are in pain and talk to the doctor for years before they get a diagnosis. Um, you know, that's really common. Um, and so uh, it's, a, it's a really uh, unfortunate yeah. disorder. Um, so we wanted to bring some awareness to it. Um, and uh, so this soap um, is gonna be yellow because um, you, know, you can't do a, a bullet colored soap. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I, I think yellow is the color though, right? Yes, yellow's the um, official awareness. ribbon awareness color. Um, so ours is gonna be yellow and nice and pretty. Um, and we'll have a nice little ribbon on it. Um, Let's go make some soap. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome. We're going to make our endometriosis awareness soap. So, um, this little stick blender here, and we got some lye water, um, which is a good temperature. Along with our oils, is a good temperature. Um, we usually like to soap around between. 85 to 90, closer to 85. Um, don't like it too hot, don't like it too cold. Okay, <laughs> just right. <laughs> just right. Um, I'm gonna bring it up to motion. Okay, no. I think that's good. Okay, yeah. And endometriosis is one of those diseases that people just sort of like don't give any validation. <laughs> well, because it's a woman's it's disease. It's a woman's disease. Uh, but we have a friend who's suffered for years and ended up um, still yeah, I suffering. actually have a couple, couple people I know that have endometriosis, um, which is not good. Endometriosis is not good. Um, so we have two cups. Yes. For the top. Because we we did know, I mean, now we know that... Uh, Four cups. Well, I thought we were doing solid yellow yes. for two-thirds of it, so that's yes. four cups. Yes. You said two cups. Oh, okay. So four cups. Okay. Right? Yes. Solid yellow. Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> we have such a great plan. <laughs> it just unfolds as we go. Yes. Um, no, we plan our soaps. Um, no, we have a little book. We do all the planning. A book, planning, talk about it, we have meetings. <laughs> Sometimes I get scolded because I'm on YouTube or playing my game, but Ooh, would you like some help? No, I got it. Okay. So like I said, the dollar store uh, containers are great, except after you've used them a few times, you can't see. Uh... I think we should do three cups so we have enough for the swirls. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That'll be our bottom color. Um. And I'll just pour these, just just since we're here, anyways. Okay, a cup in each. Yes. 
this is important. Yes, but none of these have measuring, so we're gonna eyeball it. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. Um, and then we need a spatula to scrape this out. So we get all the soap. A lovely good batter. Our in here, I don't know if you can hear it, but our our pup, doggies our are warm. shut. Yes, they're shut in my bedroom so that they don't get, you know, because when you're soaping, you're supposed to keep animals and children away from the lie um, and the batter. Plus, you know, they want to be in the video constantly. <laughs> but uh, our two puppies have been battling uh, lately. We have a 11 year old and a seven. Year old ish, eight year old, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and they're both rescue dogs. And uh, the younger one was um, thrown from the car. Oh, did you need a little spoon? No, I got it. Okay, thrown from a vehicle um, in front of the Humane Society, Humane Society um, had not been fed and had, was attacked and was used as a bait dog. So as you guess, he has some food issues, and he did well for a while. What am I looking for? Nothing. Okay. He did well for a while, but as he's gotten older now, he's a little crazy. Yeah, he's a little crazy. So, um, I'm adding our fragrance oil, which is Moonlit Path um, by Nature's Garden. Good stuff. What's that smell like, Miss Beth? It says rose, oh, violets, jasmine. It's a dupe of the... Um, Mm, Bath and Body Works Moonlit Path, which I really love. I, um, I've definitely smelled that one before. Um, so I'm just gonna blend this up a little bit. So our colorants for this one, I did a mixture of some different colorants. I really like to mix the colors to get the exact color I'm looking for. Um, so I use for this one Taxi Cab by Mad Micah's. I used a little bit of, what's that one? Nope, the gold one. Also Mad Micah's. Yeah. Sister Golden Hair Slippers. Yes, that one. Mm, that would be pretty. And then I used a little bit of orange vibrance from Nurture Soap. Can I have a napkin? You may. Um, so yeah, like I said, I wanted to get the right yellow. Um, and then I used um, kind of a mixture of those and then also lemon cupcake and some titanium dioxide to make the other two yellows, which is a lighter yellow and a darker yellow because That's endometriosis's color ribbon color is yellow um which i really like yellow um but i don't know yellow's the kind of like a polarizing color like you either really like it or you don't yeah I like you know, kind of like orange i like orange too of course i'm a little bit colorblind and it looks kind of pink to me so this is why beth does our color mixing yeah um, definitely, but yeah, I like yellow. Yeah, it's nice. Makes you happy. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Scrape that one out. Pack it down a bit, and we're going to let it harden just for a little bit. And then we'll be back for the other layers. Okay, so this is pretty set up. It needs a little bit more setting up, but by the time I get all of these blended, we'll be good. Um, so yes, our puppies have been fighting. Um, at first they were really loving towards each Well, okay, at first it was really bad. <laughs> we thought we had to give one back. Um, yeah, because we had Max and he was abused by for about four years by a family. And then he yeah. went to um, a foster, foster who had big dogs. So he was... Who ate his food. Who ate his food. So when he got here, he was like, oh. In fact, when he saw Beth at the... <laughs> Place. He's like he. I, he wanted me to pick him. Well, I picked him up because he was in the back of his cage, very scared. So I picked him up, and um, and I held him, 
and we were waiting for another dog to see at the adoption place and um and max would not let me put him down i walked around the whole um whole place holding him the whole time we were there and i just never put him down <laughs> he just came home with us so he had you know the good little life of the family and then we went again a couple of years later mm -hmm. to the pet adoption place and there was and got starving i mean he was yeah, so yeah. thin and they had had him for a month yeah they were like fatting him up so, so he had been skinnier before right he was so skinny and then on top of that he um um, had a head injury, so we're not so sure how, how much yeah, he, he sees. Has, yeah, he has some brain issues. Like, he'll pause for a second and, like, think about what he's doing. And, like, like he'll stop on the stairs or he'll, like, stop doing what he's doing and think for a bit. And, like... Doesn't always know his name. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't know his name unless you say it in this one certain tone. And then sometimes you even have to say it over and over again. And then... He, yeah, we're not sure how much he sees because he like goes like this and then he, he's just, yeah, we're not really sure how much he sees. <laughs> but when he's not attacking, Max, so well, that just started lately. They were like, after the original, like first time, Max had to like knock him around. I said, Max, push him off the bed. So once that happened, that, um, you know, they were fine. It's just been kind of hard in the last month or two. Yeah, well he also, so Andy had some issues with his legs, um, his little legs are hurting him, his, um, his patella is luxate, so they like slip out and one of them doesn't even go back in, and so he has some leg pain, and so I don't know if, it, if that's, you know, helping <laughs> with the, <laughs> with the grumpiness, you know? It's crazy for me. But then there's other times when he's not whining, because he whines, hmm. Probably ninety percent of his time. He whines. That's a cries. that's an Italian greyhound thing. So he's definitely an Italian greyhound mix with something. Yeah. Um, so that's an Italian greyhound yeah. thing. Oh yeah, and then the screaming, hyperventilating when you take him to the doctor's. <laughs> you never have to wait in the lobby unless you're right in. <laughs> but so I don't know. He just started to like sort of bully Max out of his spots and things like that. And Max is older now. He won't defend him. He just hides from him. Yeah. Okay. Max still wants to play with him though, but <laughs> Andy never learned how to play properly. Right. So he doesn't understand play versus fighting. Yeah, he thinks he's getting attacked. Yeah. So I'm gonna um that's very good, no? Oh probably not. No. Um, because remember when it's too thin, yeah. it does that Most, muddling. Yeah. So I'm gonna just blend it just a tiny bit. And then we'll let it sit for a little bit maybe. And this one looks orange because it's that, um, it's mainly that yellow cupcake that kind of turned orange, um, on which soap was it? The lemon poppy soap? Yeah, but it went back to yellow. It, it goes back to yellow soap. But they are definitely spoiled puppies. Which I want another dog, but I don't know. <laughs> Andy may be mean to it. Yeah. Max would love a puppy to play, someone to play with. Yeah, a puppy that knows how to play, he would love. Um, but I don't know, they, it just takes so long to get used to new people, new dogs, new anything. You know, um, and so it would just, I don't know, it'd be a lot of work. Um, a lot of time. And with my chronic illness, you know, I already spend <laughs> most of the time in bed, you know, but they're, they're a good reason to, you know, get up and actually like, keep them off if you take, can. Yeah, like take care of them, brush them or something, um, you know, kind of get up, <laughs> get, not sleep all day, <laughs> like my body really wants me to. <laughs> um, but so yeah, we're just gonna let this thicken up a tiny bit more and then we'll come back and do a little swirly swirl and then a pourie pour. Okay, and so here's this and this. So I'm thinking we'll just do the in the pot in here. Okay, yeah. 
So, spatula. So that's nice and thick. Um, so it won't, you know, it's it's thick, thin enough so it'll get, you know, down to the bottom kind of thing. But it's, you know, not too thin that it will just muddle all together. Right. Because it's too thick, you don't get that nice swirl. Too thin, you get too much of a swirl. Which, I mean, it, if you have distinct colors, that's fine, you know. If you have really distinct colors, a little modeling is fine because the colors help the kind of like, um, what do you call it? A, um, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Bush, but, um, it's so I'm pouring from high so it gets down low. Um, but, yeah. Do we want. Do you want these off now? Yeah. This, I like this little color a lot. Well, I'm one of those people who I like yellow. Yeah, I really like yellow too. I wear a lot of yellow clothes. I don't wear a lot of yellow. Especially in the summer. Yes. Like, the majority of my clothes are yellow in the summer. <laughs> okay. How exciting. Oh, I never did the one swirl. Can I have, have that? Yes, you may. We're going to do one swirl. It has a weird colors because the, you know, because of the. I like it because it's more than ends up being more than just the three colors. Well, it they'll turn back a little, you know, they'll turn back to actual yellow because it's very orange right now. Okay, so I'm gonna tap that down. Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That looks nice. Yeah, ooh. Because I added that sister, what was it called? Sister Golden Hair Surprise. Oh, surprise, it's a slipper. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can see like shimmer in the um, one cup, one of the tones. Tone. It looks super nice. Okay. And we got some Snowflake Sparkle. Go back to our I don't know OG. How <laughs> Yeah. Color. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. It's glitterified. I would just spray it with some rubbing alcohol. And then, of course, we have the. Um, you know, the little uh, embed that goes on later, the um, ribbon, but we'll show you that. Um, but here is the soap right now. Okay, we'll be back later for the cut. Okay, so here we are. We've got the endometriosis soap. It smells really good. Yeah. It smells nice and light, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, and here's that glittery top. So that was like a yellow and then like a swirl of a couple different yellows on the top part of it. Yeah, we'll see how it turned out. That's fun, I like that. You can definitely see the different yellows. And the glitter on top is always nice. Yep, and I made some yellow ribbons to go on it. Yeah. Oh, yes. I couldn't really tell on the outside, but on the inside you can see the three colors swirled. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it'll... Have there we go. Well, still no. <laughs> I don't know. We need to figure out this key of thing. It's hard to catch all the swirls because it's all light. Now it's really dark. Yeah, it's not light. Uh, now it's light. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, 
there we go. Well, okay. Well, you get the picture. <laughs> we'll, go, <laughs> we'll go the rest of the bar and be back. <laughs> okay, and here are all the soaps. Um, so we do have these um, beautiful little um, yellow... Uh, Sparkly ribbons. Ribbons that are going to, you know, sit, sit right here. And they'll be attached oh, with some mountain pork. That looks really nice. I made. Who made those ribbons? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll come back and show you the final product. Okay, and here we are. Here's the finished bar. I think it turned out great. Um, you can see the nice little different tones of yellow swirl, the yellow ribbon, the solid yellow, a little bit of glitter on top, of course. Um, turned out really cute. Beth was taking a nap and I made the ribbons. They were supposed to be white, but <laughs> that was a yellow. Yeah, yellow works too. Yeah, looks really cute. Yeah. What happens when you leave me in charge? <laughs> um, but it smells, it smells really good though. I do smell too. It. Smell it. It does smell good. And it's just uh, really important for everyone to be aware. Yeah. You know, of different people. We all have stuff we suffer and we carry with us. But this is one of those um, unfortunate women-only diseases that well get really. Oh, it's people with uteruses. Okay, I'm disease. sorry. Sorry. Could be trans men or you know, okay, uh, non-binary people with this illness. So okay, I'm sorry. It's a uterus-only <laughs> disease. That's the way. It's a uterus. <laughs> so unfortunately, in this society, if you have a uterus and you have a health issue, they're not jumping to it. Yeah. No. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's um, a great way to, you know, support a friend. You could buy this bar and say like, hey, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm aware of what you're going through and, you know, give it to someone with endometriosis or, you know. Do you, uh, you buy one for yourself? Maybe you have some, maybe you have it, somebody else has it. Or you just want to support the cause, um, you know, spread some awareness. And um, inside the little um, bag, uh, we'll have a little card that has some more information about endometriosis, um, which we, you know, always do with our awareness soaps, have a little information tag. Um, because that's um, what's important with these soaps, is to spread awareness. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, oh, you can buy these soaps <laughs> in March um, on teaspoonsoapery.com. And um, on our Etsy, which is also Teaspoon Soapery. Um, and uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us.